I wonder if you can Thanks start off by, um, by telling the audience your definition of Agenda 21. Agenda 21 is the action plan. It's the blueprint to inventory and control all land, water, minerals, plants, animals, construction, means of production, education, information, and human beings in the world. It's a totally comprehensive plan, and it's right there in your town right now. It's a global plan, but it's implemented locally. And so that's, you know, this is a, it's a global regional neighborhood plan. So that's how you see it. And uh, yeah, you're going to see it there. Of course, it's in Canada and you're going to see it as, uh, you know, it'll be smart growth plans and wildlands project. Well, Agenda 21 really is the hijacking of the environmental movement. And uh, there in Canada, you have uh, the federal sustainable uh, development Act, which mandates uh, sustainable development principles in every federal agency. And there are, there's about a half, more than a half billion dollars in federal funds going to implement these plans. And plans of course, that are made elsewhere, uh, right? Oh, this is a worldwide plan. You know, your plan, for instance, whatever plan it is in, in whatever part of Canada, is the same plan in the United States. It's the same as the Hanoi Regional Center 2030 plan. These plans are all the same plan. It's not even so much about looking the same, although smart growth is high density development on transit lines. What it's really about is inventorying and controlling. And it's also about creating artificial scarcity. So it's about limiting your, your uh, access to your resources. That's the wildland element of the project. And then uh, smart growth, which restricts your ability to, uh, to use your land. And so when it's federally subsidized uh, high density development in the centers of your cities, and then you have these uh, charrettes or these visioning projects, which uh, you're invited to come and give your opinion on that great new Imagine Calgary plan, which is the same plan that you'll see all across the world. You're given the impression that you're crafting that plan yourself, but in fact, you are actually being directed to a predetermined outcome using a mind control technique. This is the technique that you're going to see. Of course, it won't be called uh, the Delphi technique by anyone. And just like you'll never see Agenda 21 called Agenda 21 in these meetings. But uh, it's a meeting where you're invited to come and give your opinion on that cool new plan for the center of your town. And you go in and it's, uh, you know, it's all set up with uh, tables and, you know, you've got your crayons and your little gold stars and you get to say, basically what you want to see. Well, sprawl, which is where many people live, you know, if you live in a single family home, that's considered unsustainable. Uh, that's business as usual. And you're not supposed to choose that. You're supposed to choose your planned future. And uh, so this plan actually directs public opinion while giving them the impression that their input is actually being listened to. And I'll tell you, if you go into those meetings and you dissent, you will quickly find that your opinion is not really uh, crafting this plan. This plan is actually being used to propagandize you and to uh, shut you up if you uh, consider that this is not your idea for what you want to see in your town. This is about inventory and control. And you know, globalization is the standardization of systems. So this requires uniformity in all systems, whether it's education, law enforcement, government, energy, all have to be harmonized, all laws, and that means more inventory and control of you. That's what the plan is about. If you're out in the rural and suburban areas, you might be thinking, well, nobody's going to get me off my property. You know, I'm here and I like it and I'm just going to keep living here. And sure, that seems great. But just think about this. Think about um, this possibility that uh, your roads won't be paved because your county has no more money. And uh, so they're going to pulverize your, gro your roads and turn them to gravel. Or you're going to have your well monitored. So thinking that you could wa water your garden and your, uh, your tracts of land is not possible any longer because you're having your personal private well on your property monitored and you're being restricted on the use. You might find that um, you're not able to continue to pay the taxes for the sheriff and for all the other services that you have out there in the county 
because other people have been removed from their land through restrictions on their use or through fire or other situations that have occurred and make it so that very few people are out there and they're carrying the entire tax burden. So then you're finding that you're not able to actually maintain the land that, you, that you're that you on and you'll find that you're moved off of your land and moved into the city. Now you need to ask yourself and you need to think about this, okay? You need to prepare because it's not gonna happen like that. It's going to be some entirely different thing. You're going to be out to dinner in your suit with your wife and kids. You're going to be uh, with your husband in the grocery store. You're going to be by yourself in the post office. You're going to be walking down the street, crossing the street with your child in your hand. What are you going to do when this moment comes up? Because it will. It will. It is coming up right now. And I want you to know, first of all, that nobody's going to rescue you. And nobody's going to come on a white horse to take care of you and protect you. It's up to you. So you're going to be feeling a lot of panic, a lot of fear. There's certainly plenty of information out there now. You really know everything. I would say that you. it's not like you, I have to tell you to wake up. You're awake. You get it. You see it. Okay, so now the thing is not to become like a deer in the headlights, freaking out and going, oh, I don't know what to do. What can I do? Okay, there's a lot you can do, and I want you to start with this. The thing to do right now is to stop it while you still can. I'm asking you to know who you are. And that will tell you what the next steps are. I don't have to tell you or guide you. You will know. 